Hey guys, Garrett here from Iowa Proud today. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the third generation iPod Touch to iOS 3 today. So let's get started. In order to downgrade the third generation iPod Touch to iOS 3 is, first, make sure you have a Mac running at least macOS Sonoma or newer for this to work. So now, we need to go to Safari and download the files we need. The link will be in the description below. First, we will need this file, Legacy iOS Kit. Over here, to the three dots, click Download as Zip. And you will need to do one full download at a time. Otherwise, it'll say File Too Big. And we can choose between 3.1.1 312 or 313. I'll be doing 313 for my iPod Touch. Download a zip. Right, so now with both files on the desktop, we can close out of Safari. Now we'll have to unzip those files here. All right, there we go. Now we'll have to go in to the legacy folder for the next step here. Now we'll have to open Terminal by going to Launchpad other than terminal now we're ready for the next step now we're going to drag this file restore.sh into terminal click return and when it asks you to to access your desktop go ahead and click allow and now it's going to ask if we want to update it type y for yes return so now it's going to update once the updating is finished a little trick you can do so you don't have to do the file again we're just going to press the up arrow key on the keyboard this will allow us to run the script again return now it will have to install the requested command line for developers for this to work here's the window click install agree and now it's going to go and download the software. And it does not take uh, many hours. It will just take a few minutes here. All right, so I'm back and the software was installed. This only took about t six to 10 minutes. Now we're going to hit return. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the iPod Touch to the computer here for the next step. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to press the up arrow key again to run the script return and now it's going to find our device in normal mode and there we go the ipod touch is now found in normal mode all right so once the ipod touch is detected in normal mode you will get a couple of options here for restore downgrade jailbreak device save the blobs and other stuff for this one we're going to use the first option restore and now grade. We're going to type in the number one for the first option, return, and now we have another option. For this one, we're going to select number four, custom IBSW. Then we're going to type in four, return, and when it comes to this part here, go ahead and click return, and now it's going to ask us to select the IPSW. We're going to go to desktop, iOS 3 files, then click this one, the downgrade IPSW for Lynchy. We're going to go and double click it, and then it's going to ask us to send the device into recovery mode. We're going to click Y for yes, return, and there we go. The device is now going to enter recovery mode. All right, now we're going to go ahead and enter DFE mode. That's what it's going to ask us. We're going to type Y for yes to enter DFE mode. Click return. And now it's going to guide us through it. Hold the top at home button. Release the power and keep holding the home button. Okay, so now the iPod is now in DFU mode. Now, 
it's going to ask us which tool do we want to use to put it into pwned DFE mode. The best one to go with is the first option, iPonder. Type 1, return. Now the downgrade is going to start. There we go. So my screen goes white. That is normal during the beginning of the process here. Sending the restore RAM disk. All right, if it turns to this screen while waiting for a device, that means it worked. All right, guys, so I'm back and the restore was successful. If it goes into the recovery mode state, that means it worked correctly. For now, we're gonna go back into terminal and press the up arrow again to run the command. This time, we're gonna select the third option, just boot. I typing the number three in, return. And this is the most important part of all. Make sure you use option two, select IPSW. If you use the other two, it will not boot. Type in number, the number two there. And now we're gonna select the stock IPSW. Double click that one. And now type in the number three for this one for just boot, return. And now we're gonna type Y for DFU mode entering, return. Now we're gonna put it into DFU mode to boot the iPod Touch. So it's gonna guide us through the same steps again. All right, now we're gonna select iPonder again by typing in one, click return. And now it's gonna start booting the iPod Touch. All right, there we go. See, we now have the verbose boot. That means it worked correctly. There we go. All right, there we go. So the iPod Touch is now the activation screen. All right, there it is. My finder detected it. Now it's gonna activate. Activating. There we go. And now we have successfully downgraded to iOS 3 on the third generation iPod Touch. Now, when we go into settings, general, about, there we go, 3.1.3, just like that. So that is how you downgrade the third generation iPod Touch to iOS 3. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give videos on the video. Peace out.